Officer Chauncey in Layton, Utah. See more better with ChristianEyewear.com where believing is seeing. And I'm going to cut the Zeiss Photofusion Extra Gray Lenses with the Silver Flash Mirror for your Oakley 8166, which is the wheelhouse, color 02, the polished clear in the 52 eye size. Let me take everything out of the original packaging as it comes. Your hard shell Oakley case your Oakley cleaning cloth slash carrying bag and inside the star of the show the main attraction is the Oakley wheelhouse it comes with a little plastic sleeve on the left temple to protect the temples from rubbing together during shipping again this is the wheelhouse hopefully the camera will pick this up it is the Oakley 8166 I can't even see when it's above my head color 02 size 52 and the polished clear of course, I'm going to take out the original demo. This polished clear crystal front with the black temples. I, for the longest time, I wore this polished clear, which is the 8149 Pitchman or Carbon. It comes with the carbon fiber temples. This, I really like that black and crystal combination. The reason why I got this because I have, uh, well, I'd say that I have some silver wisdom highlights coming into my black hair, but it's just the opposite. I've got some black hair that are messing with my gray hair. <laughs> that seems to be taking over. But, great frame. And of course, making free prescription lenses for Oakley frames, that is in my wheelhouse. So let me get to work. Actually, I need to... Oh, I forget to do this now because of my age. But I need to assign a barcode to this. Hey, 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 personal information. They're HIPAA stuff. Let's, let's close that up. So, going to... Attach this to your card, your temporary card, your video card, your permanent card is your phone number, email, all of that address, so that's why it's not used. But you are Secret Agent 2975. I'm going to program the shape into the computer so that years from now, should you ever need new, ah, look at me, look at me, should you ever need new lenses, I can send them right to your home and you'll see how to pop them in. I'm sitting here out trying to trace your frame before putting it in there. Now I can trace it. So I hit the start button, a little stylus is going to pop up, go around, trace the inside bevel of the right side of the frame before doing the same thing on the left side here at ChristianEyewear.com or Believing is Seeing and your new home for free prescription lenses. You buy any Oakley frame that I offer, any frame that I offer, and you'll receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or non-prescription fashion lenses. My receipt has my federal ID tax number, so if you have vision insurance or unused health savings account flex dollars, you will get reimbursed for this purchase. Now, you'll get your full reimbursement from your health savings account. I am considered out of network. I do not accept any insurance vision plans, but if you submit the itemized receipt that I can provide upon request, you will get your out-of-network reimbursement from your insurance company. They'll send a check right to your home. But that is the shape that we'll be cutting. I'm going to move on to the next screen. I need to enter your pupillary distance of 68. The computer, which divided by 2 is 34. The computer starts at 32.5. I'm going to tap the plus button until we get to 34. I'm going to raise the optical center height up to 22. Let me mark that. Now I need to get your lenses prepped. This is your right lens. And I love how Zeiss documents everything. In fact, hang on, hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, I couldn't find what I was looking for. I did find that, but it's the digital freeform progressives. They have uh, the 8x11 sheet. But for your single vision lenses, Zeiss documents everything, including your name on the package. So I cover that up to protect your identity. And the right lens is labeled minus a quarter, minus 75 at 104. I've been moving everything around today. You get back over there too. I use this space to take social media pictures, so I was cleaning up around there. So 104, put the power drum on minus a quarter, actually let's start with zero, make sure everything's dialed in. Now I can put it on minus a quarter, take the lens out of the protective sleeve, rotate the lens until the spherical component comes into view first. I've got the lens upside down. How do I know this? I just do. It's what I do. This is in my wheelhouse. But I use the top half of the lens. I, when I decenter, I move the, the optical center up because very rarely does someone look through the center of their lenses. Your eye is usually generally higher up than the center, so that's why I move the optical centers up and I use the top half of the lens. 
your lens has the same power. Let me go ahead and mark this one first. Dot, dot, dot. We're going to put an R on there. Your lens has the same power in this direction where the R is on top as it does when the R is on the bottom. Varying powers in between there, but those are the two principal meridians. Now, your left eye minus, well actually, by now you know I always highlight the powers. This is the right lens. Your Carl Zeiss single vision lenses, minus a quarter, minus 75 at 104. And let's do the same thing now for your left eye, minus a quarter, minus 75 at 90. You have the same powers, only the axis is different. That is very rare. The, we're still on minus a quarter. Rotate the lens until the spherical component comes into view first. Make sure we're using the top half of the lens, and we are. Put three dots on your lenses. Label that one L, which is Latin for not right. It could be German, it could be French. I took four years of French in high school and I forgot everything. Such is life. <laughs> To all you French speakers, that should be funny. To anyone else, not so much. So, again, this is your left lens. Minus a quarter, minus 75 at 90. And if you guys missed any of that, let me recap. I know, you moan at that joke, but you'll be telling it tomorrow. So, let's see. Okay, we've got everything dotted up. This is a block. I need to attach this to your lens while it is cutting. I need two double-sided stickers. How convenient. I've got two of them right here. The black side is the sticky side. I'm going to stick this one onto the first block. Quit looking at that. I replanted my green beans. I'm getting my second crop of green beans. I loves me some green beans. And the first batch died out, so I replanted the other night and doing stuff and working. I don't know how it happens, but I just scratched my hand. So, now, the reason why I put those three dots on there, it orients the lens exactly how it's supposed to go. The blue cross is the geometric center of your frame, and your eye is literally above that. Usually it's in set, but with your pupillary distance, it's above that. Now, I use this layout just like it was the crosshairs of a scope. I measure vertically and horizontally so that your exact prescription is dead center in front of your pupil. So I'm going to place that one onto the block, pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. That silver button is a magnet. Uh, I've already got it on there. Anyone ever be overworked? I know it's a blessing to be this busy during COVID, but um, ask my family. See what they say. Actually, they probably think it's a blessing I'm away from home this long. And miraculously, I talked all the way through that. Usually I get quiet. Gospel according to Jeff, I get quiet during my <laughs> during when I'm doing the blocking. So same PD, same optical center height. Same sad story about why my wife and family would rather me be at work than be at home. My wife wants me to work 80 hours a week, come home, hand her my paycheck, then go back and leave again. Man, my wife is smart. She doesn't work and she gets my whole paycheck. How does she figure that one out? All right, how did I agree to that? Why do I dwell on this? <laughs> Why do I ask so many questions when Officer Chauncey wants his glasses? By the way, I'm going to get to that. Utmost respect for you and your profession, for what you do. The, I mean, sadly, it takes the COVID pandemic to make people realize who really is truly on the front lines every day. And because of that, now, yes, I'm designing Christian eyewear. I'm designing a few more. But I'm going to come out with a thin blue line collection. And as soon as I came up with this idea for military and law enforcement, somebody ordered this Oakley. And I go onto the site, the thin blue line collection. I didn't know they had already done this. This is the gas can. It comes with a black and white U.S. flag with the thin blue line. That line separates law from unlawful people. And I like how it looks on this side. They took the same emblem and just flipped it and they have the flag blowing this way I want the flag with the stars and stripes on the left I you know, don't know why but that's how we've always seen it with the stars and bars going to the right so I'm gonna come out with another line called either thin blue line eyewear or first responders patriots I'm, I'm still haven't finished the final name but the it's gonna be a rectangle on the side not the Oakley emblem because that would be counterfeit I'm not gonna do that and I'm gonna have my own designs and of course the frames if they're not sunglasses will all come with a polarized magnetic clip on 
but we'll get to that but yeah it's going to have a rectangle of the u.s flag with all 50 stars on the left and the stars and bars going i mean the stripes going to the right so who leave a comment in the comment section below why i should name this thin blue line eyewear first responder eyewear you know, I was telling someone about it, and he said, well, are you going to put a red line for fire department? I said, well, I guess I'm going to. And then I talked to someone who is a, who I did his video for his glasses in Kansas City. He asked, do you have a kid's line? Because he has two kids. One of them wants to grow up to be a policeman. The other one wants to be a fireman and have a kid's collection of these. And, you know, I never thought about that. But that's why I toss these ideas out there, and I get the best ideas from the viewers. And I'm going to do what you guys like. I take requests. Just like my wife says, please hand me your paycheck, now leave. <laughs> That's fair. Although I owe everything to my wife. Without her, who knows where I would be now. She keeps me focused. You see how scatterbrained I am tonight. She has me, if it were me, I'd have five unfinished projects. She's like, finish this project, then you can start on that one. Finish that one, then you can start on that one. And there, she's the reason why I have these completed. In fact, halfway through this project, she says, well, if you can put a cross on the side of a pair of glasses, can you put a pink ribbon? Because her family's been devastated by that. So I asked the man manufacturer what they would charge me to do that. And they said, you paid for the mold. We'll put whatever you want on the outside and the inside. This is Philippians 4.13, which is I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Her frame is called Pray for the Cure. And of course, this one is Christian eyewear designed in USA by me. But... That was her idea, and i got to give her credit. She has some good ideas. Her best idea was marrying me. After that, she still had some pretty good ideas. So this is the blocker. This is the tracer. This is the edger. This is me getting back to work. This weighs 200 pounds. I recommend everyone go out, buy the one, put it on your kitchen counter. Then you can cut your own lenses at home, and you won't need this scatterbrain with the two thumbs and the bad jokes to cut the lenses for you. But the actual cutting wheel is this diamond crusted wheel that's going to grind away your lens material until it's the final size. This wheel in the center is going to put the V-shaped bevel onto the lens so it stays inside the bevel of the frame. Now I'm going to wake up the computer. You can see this lens is a silhouette drill mount. You can see the four holes that I drilled into the lens before doing this video. Let me wake up the computer. Be gone silhouette. Be there wheelhouse. So, job ID number 2975, 2975, or as I repeat myself, this is installment 2975 of my 330 million volume series of making a pair of glasses for everyone in America. So, stay tuned for episode number 330 million because nothing's going to happen. I'm not going to live that long. <laughs> so, you didn't see that coming, Secret Agent 2840. So, I've got a... I've got a video stalker. He comments on every section. He predicts what I'm going to say, but he didn't see that coming. And Thursday night, I'm doing his Christian eyewear frame. He gave me permission not to do it tonight. But this is the one I'm going to do for him. He said, go home, get some rest. But it's uh, the Christian eyewear dogwood color with the gold crosses. I'm going to put a green mirrored lens in there. He's getting, man, am I scatterbrained tonight? I can't finish anything. He's getting this green mirror and his Christian eyewear, at least on one side. I'm going to put this red mirror on the other so he's going to think it's Christmas everywhere he goes. Or that's the Gucci colors. Christian eyewear by Gucci. <laughs> Doesn't it sound like baby talk? Gucci, Gucci, Gucci. <laughs> All right, so. All right, back to work. Back to work. How many times have I said that? All right, I'm going to put you up there. All right, what do I do with that? Let's just put that in my recycling bag. Okay, so these are polycarbonate lenses. I promise I'm getting back to work. These are polycarbonate lenses. If they were plastic, high-index plastic, or Trivex, I would select that material, but we're sticking with polycarbonate because that's my lens material of choice. I'm not going to polish the edge of the lenses because it's not going to be seen in this frame. I'm not going to put a safety bevel on the front convex surface of the lens. But I am going to be safe on the rear concave surface of the lens. I'll put a safety bevel there. And I'll explain what all that means later. I'm going to press the sticker onto the lens firmly. Place the magnet into the chuck. Or as I like to call it, the Charles. Because I just don't know this machine well enough. And since I keep procrastinating tonight, 
you guys want to see Chuck? That's Chuck. That's the magnet it goes on to. That's what it sticks to. <laughs> Hello, Chuck. Hello, everyone. <laughs> No, the coffee has not worn off. Why do you ask? All right, yes, I do drink lots of coffee. You know, when I first started drinking coffee, I didn't think I was going to like it, but then I really started to like it, and I don't understand why more people don't drink it. I drink it all the time, and I think it's great, and I think, oh, I think I'm going to have a heart attack. All right, so back into the chuck. Hit the start button. The door's going to close. The clamp's going to shut. Yes, I'm being very silly tonight. The lens is going to be traced by two white styluses, making sure that it's large enough to fit into the right side of the frame. And you can see it's just tracing the shape of the right side. And then the old carpenter, Jewish carpenter saying, measure twice, cut once, as well as love thy neighbor. It's measuring the thickness of the lens to know where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing, of which you will have none with your prescription in this frame. But so the light you see flickering in the background is water to catch the optical sawdust. Polycarbonate lenses cut dry, meaning that no water sprays onto the lens while it is cutting. Unlike plastic, high index plastic and Trivex that all cut wet, meaning that water sprays onto the lenses while it is cutting. Now water will spray onto your lenses, but only for the last 20 seconds. To wash away the optical debris, you may see beginning to form on the edge of the lenses. but. Your lenses are made out of polycarbonate, which is 40% thinner and lighter than regular plastic. They're virtually unbreakable. These are high impact, ballistics grade lens material, the same lens material that our soldiers wear overseas in combat zones and their Oakleys to protect their eyes from shrapnel from flying debris. It has 100% UVA and UVB protection built into the lens. We know what the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays can do to your skin. Your eyes are eight times more sensitive than your skin, so unlike the lotions, creams, and sprays that have to be reapplied every couple hours when you're in direct exposure to the sun, this is permanent and never needs to be reapplied. In fact, Zeiss offers so much UV protection, they have partnered with the American Cancer Society because they offer the most complete protection of any laboratory. Now, you have the silver flash mirror on the front of the lens. You have the Photofusion Extra Active Gray throughout the lens. You have the DuraVision Sun Anti-Glare on the back surface of the lens. So you have the most complete protection of any lens that I offer. Now the Photofusion Extra Gray, of course that turns dark when you go outside, the Silver Flash Mirror. Now a sunglass lens absorbs the sun's rays. A mirror lens reflects it back, making it 30% darker. So. That's why you see mirrored lenses, it's not just for cosmetic looks, although it does make you look cool, but that's why they put mirrored lenses on sunglasses. Now, the anti-glare that's on the back of the lens is three features in one. The first feature reduces glare when driving at night, particularly driving at night in the rain, but from street lights, stop lights, computer screens, overhead fluorescent lights and such. Oh, since I'm so scatterbrained tonight, I also like to point out with the Photofusion Extra Gray, all this talk about blue light protection that you hear about these days. The photochromic lenses were the original blue blocking lenses. They block 50 to 70 percent of the harmful blue light emitted from today's electronic devices such as cell phones, tablets, computer screens, cell phones, and of course the number one source of blue light on the planet. Anyone? Anyone? Bueller? the sun which is the source of all our life on the planet and then comes water and then comes my loving wife <laughs> I had to tie it all back in my little backstory I had to place so now should you ever need lenses in the future for this frame you pop I'll show you how to pop the lenses out but you have the side you're working on closest to you with the temples pointed downward tuck the lens in at the outside corner first and then using your thumbs press down the nose it snaps right in to take the old lenses out I tell everyone thumb your nose at the idea with your thumb at the nose and I torque the frame a little bit and as long as the frames at room temperature it's fine if you live in Norway and it's the winter time and you keep your frames in the car the plastic becomes brittle at cold temperatures so make sure your frames at room temperature even if you don't live in Norway now after if you're done raking the forest it's okay to do it then but with the thumb over the other thumb, push outward or lift up on the front of the frame, it will pop right out. Again, to put the lens in, tuck it in there, 
push down there. So, flip this over to L, place the magnet into the Chuck the Charles, the Chucky baby, or today I'm calling it Officer Chauncey. Thank you, Officer. Look, I'm getting ahead of myself. Flip that over to L, hit the start button. The door is going to close, the clamp is going to shut, so the lens is going to be traced by the two white stylus again to make sure it's large enough to fit into the left side of the frame. And you can see as it's tracing the shape of the left side. And the old Jewish carpenter saying, Love thy neighbor as thyself, and do unto others as they would have do unto you. So, but as you can see, there's no edge thickness whatsoever. Where's my flashlight? I've got a smaller flashlight, I just can't find it. So there's that. Let me pop this block off. Pull the sticker away. Use my hand-approved drying method. Throw that back in there, add to my sticker collection. Up, 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 up. Look, it's starting to fall apart from its own weight, so I'm using these stickers to... Look at this, it's just... I'm starting to fall apart under my own weight too, so it's going to happen. Alright, we're going to come down here and start what is known as final inspection. I'm going to turn the axis wheel back to 104. I need to inspect that the prescription is made as your doctor has written and put it in over that black dot, which is your pupillary distance read the power I don't have to turn the knob because it was the same power minus a quarter one tick mark going away from zero going towards one in the red minus numbers not the black positive numbers hyperopes myopes that's because oop, I got an itch the unit of measurement we use in the optical world is called a diopter and you're on the first rung of a ladder for far-sighted correction that's all you need is one step, the least amount you can possibly have. Now you have three quarters of a diopter of astigmatism correction. Uncorrected astigmatism makes sixes and eights look alike, or the letters P and F. Think of it as the fine two knob. We're going to turn that fine two knob to 104, so you have a minus a quarter this way. 90 degrees away, you have minus 75, which is steeper. And it's how you line those two curves up to make everything nice and crisp. So I'm going to read the second curvature on the 104 meridian. And we end up at, did I overshoot it? Hang on. Here we go. We end up at minus one, exactly halfway between zero and two. Because if you loan somebody 25 cents, and then you loan them another, so I need, I need a new head strap. I keep adjusting it. And I've got one on the way, don't worry. It should be here tomorrow. But there's, if you loan someone 25 cents and then another 75 cents, they would owe you a dollar, that's where I had a dollar in the red. Now, when I hired a personal trainer when I went to the gym, they asked me what my favorite machine was there. I said the vending machine, can I go get another Snickers? <laughs> so, I was filling out the form when I joined the gym and uh, just so they could find out what fitness level I was at. And I said, I got a little winded filling out a form. You have a couch I can lay down on? But uh, I, I had to break up with Jim. We weren't working out. <laughs> and then actually COVID came and I was able to get out of my gym membership that way. So I'm going to turn the axis wheel to 90. Actually, I don't even need to do that. I don't have the lens in there yet. I'm getting ahead of myself. So, sorry about that. I didn't collect all the trash into the one trash can. Is that, Ju is that you, Judith? Okay, the cleaning crew's here, and what a nice guy I am. I collect all the trash from all my trash cans and put it into one trash can so that I only have to empty one, and I forgot to do it tonight. Thank you, Judith. <laughs> but they come in, they clean my bathroom, the sink, the toilet, mop every night. Those people are godsend. You hear that, honey? They do that. So, not that my wife would. Although I pick on it, wherever we're somewhere and I see someone vacuuming or, or sweeping or mopping, I always ask them, do you mind taking a minute and show my wife how to do that? So, again, I'm kidding. I have, anyone admire my shirts, my pants? I have not done laundry in 15 years since I've been married. Now, I mow the grass every time. I catch the spiders, take them out of the house and everything else. But I have not done laundry and she does all the cleaning and the cooking and putting up with me she is a saint so and we've been together 15 years and I've never had one argument that's as corny but that's how I know she's my soulmate 
God truly has blessed me with the most exceptional wife. She can't say that about her husband. Although I like to tell her a true story. My wife has the most amazing husband, but uh, she doesn't believe me. But, all right, back to work. So, I have the side I'm working on closest to me. Tuck the lens in at the outside corner. I don't know why I'm in such a good mood tonight. Push down on the lens. It snaps right in. Take the block off. Pull the sticker away. Use the back of my hand drying method, not the bloody section. The back of my hand. Don't worry, everything gets wiped down with alcohol before it gets shipped. That's something you don't see in the videos. So I turn the axis wheel to 90, put it in over the black dot. Read the power. I'm getting minus a quarter again in the minus red section. Check the half, three quarters of a adopter. Again, I end up at minus one. You are rare. You have the same powers in each eye, same pupillary distance, but the the first two numbers are real values to be concerned with. Well, this last number could be anywhere from 0 to 180, a straight line. 0 to 90 to 180. For the right eye, we turn it just past the 90 to the 104. For the left eye, it is dead on on the 90. So you have 14 degrees of separation from you and Kevin Bacon's prescription. So that doesn't stick there. That does. Look, if you were left-handed, you could put it there. If you were no-handed, you could put it there. <laughs> but, uh, so, by the way, this frame, the Oakley 8166 Wheelhouse, sells for $187 tax-free with one free pair of clear single-vision prescription lenses and free shipping anywhere in the U.S. Now, the upgrade to the Photofusion Extra Gray, the regular Photofusion Gray, Brown, Green, or Blue, I have the blue in my... Oakley pitchmen are carbon, but the that sells for $99. The the extra the extra dark only comes in gray is $129. The silver flash mirror is $69 for a total of $386.98 tax free. The reason why I point out tax free now is that I'm in North Carolina. North Carolina considers eyeglasses a medical device. That blue is pretty cool, isn't it? Okay, let's get back to work on his glasses. So. I'm in North Carolina. I don't have to charge tax on eyeglasses that are made in North Carolina. But what I do need to do is measure your PD, which is 68, optical center height of 22. So I'm going to turn the card around, place the PD stick against my thumb on the right lens. When we hold it up to the left lens, we're getting 68 millimeters. So that is cut perfectly. So again, the crosshairs of a scope, I measured horizontally. Now I'm going to do vertically. The number I'm looking for is 22. And not to the bottom of the lens but to the middle of the plastic because your lens goes halfway into the plastic we're getting 22 millimeters there same thing on the left so that is perfect the reason why i show you all of this because when you buy glasses on the internet how do you know they're actually you're getting what you pay for that's what i love about zeiss they document everything including your name that's on there and you'll get that i'm going to peel off the purple stickers and recycle them for the next person but I also show you the pupillary distance and the optical center height. Now the last thing I do is get your frame in final in, in final inspection is to get it in standard alignment, also known as a three-point stance. But before I do that, I always like to point out to everyone that when you get these in the mail, there is a small chance that these could fit too loose or too tight. However, there's an 80% chance that one side is going to sit higher than the other. That's because 80% of people have one ear that is higher than the other, and I'm part of that statistic. But because of that statistic, 99% of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them. But I'm going to get them in standard alignment, again, known as a three-point stance, one, two, and the bottom of the frame being three. I pressed it on the counter. There is no wobble. Now, when I say wobble, I'm part of that 80%. When I take mine off and press down, they wobble on the counter, but they sit level on me. For those of you keeping score at home, I am wearing the... Christian eyewear Philippians 413 black with silver. I could have gone with black and up, 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 up. you're in the wrong spot. Black and gold. But again, the black and silver matches my hair color now, so it matches every outfit. This is the model number Philippians 413. You can see more about this frame by visiting the Christian Eyewear.com website as well as going to that YouTube channel and search for this frame. You'll see me making models of that. Put mine back on so I can see what I'm doing, yo. 
flip that over, press down. There is no wobble. Close each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly, and they do, that neither temple is askew. Check the tension on each hinge, although these are rather unique because there is no screw to tighten. This is a ball joint. I had an orthopedic surgeon say that is the same type of knee replacement and hip replacement that he does. No screws to ever come loose. Looks like that Dyson fan they have out there. But uh, round is the new square. So check it out. <laughs> but uh, yes, I am being silly tonight. So I send out a selfie request in every package. Officer, I would love to have two. One with you indoors wearing these and then one outside. He's a motorcycle um, officer. What do you call those people? Motorcycle officers, I guess. But I'd love to have you with these turned silver outside on your bike if you're allowed to do that. You can also, if you have any questions, follow me, excuse me, email me at the contact me page of the website, or if you like to type, it's info at christianeyewear.com. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter with the same name. Twitter has one, no spaces, Instagram and Facebook. Actually, does Instagram have that? I'll have to double check. But this is the point that I remind everyone that Jesus loves you unconditionally. However, I'm just trying to get a like. If you like what you've seen here, do just that. Give me the thumbs up for this video. You can subscribe by clicking on this icon in the bottom right hand corner. You can hit the bell icon so you'll get notified of future videos and lens combinations as they become available. And what was I going to say? Oh, I've got to activate these. I've got to activate these. Uh, I've, got, I've got sleep deprivation, hunger deprivation. I'm getting hangry. I need to go home and eat. But this is what your lenses look like clear. I'm going to go ahead and activate them, meaning I'm exposed them to a strong burst of ultraviolet light. I'm going to do two bursts. As you can see, it takes about 30 to 45 seconds for photochromic transition lenses to darken. A little bit longer when you come back inside, 45 seconds to a minute, minute 15. Now everyone pay attention. All photochromic transition lenses will turn dark on day one and continue to darken every day for the first couple weeks they're exposed to the sun. After that, they will work for years at maximum performance. The only time they won't work is if you're behind the windshield of a car. Your windshield absorbs the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays that would cause your dashboard to crack from sitting in the sun all day, and that's why they don't turn dark in a car. Now, having said that, these Photofusion Extra Gray with the will turn dark in a car. Now, again, you can get this with silver, gold, green, or blue, and now they're new red. Now, in full disclosure, the first four colors are great mirrors. I literally can see myself in your lens. The red is still new technology. It looks like a really bold red anti-glare, but it's not a perfect red mirror. It gives eyes some time. I'm sure they'll work out the kinks. Now, when you look out of these, you see the dark gray. And again, they're going to keep getting darker and darker. Don't worry. We talked about this. Don't you remember? Stick with me. But on, when people look at you, they can now see their reflection in the silver mirrored coating. Now, all photochromic transition lenses are also temperature sensitive, meaning they will get darker when it's 85 and below than they will when it's 95 and above. But I remind everyone when it's 100 degrees outside, you're miserable, they're miserable, nobody works 100% when it's 100 degrees outside. We all work much better when it cools off. Having said that, who's that guy in there with that blinking camera on his head? These Photofusion Extra Gray will get darker in hotter weather. It's designed for extra active people who spend extra amounts of time outside, hence the name. And so, since these are the dog days of summer, that's good to point out. Again, they won't get as dark as they will in the next two months when it cools off. But these do get darker in hotter weather than the regular photochromic and Transitions Signature 7 and Gen 8 lenses. Now, as I keep talking, these will get lighter and lighter. I did give them two really strong bursts to show you that mirror. But... I've already said it, but yeah, follow me. Please share this video if you've liked what you've seen. Subscribe to my YouTube channel on Christian Eyewear. You click the logo on free prescription lenses. You have to click the red subscribe button. I'm posting this on both channels. If you are watching this on free prescription lenses, subscribe to my Christian Eyewear YouTube channel. You'll see more and more videos going there because I realized I'm just a cover band putting lenses in other people's songs. I woke up one day and realized I want to write my own songs. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm going to have more and more frames. I'm going to have a complete line of frames to first responders, to military, law enforcement, police, everyone who protects us. 
um, from the things that go bump in the night and the things that are even louder during the day. So, but yeah, thanks for watching. Again, share this video if you've liked what you've seen. If you think other people would like to see it, you can email me at info at christianeyewear.com. You can also leave a question or comment in the comment section below. But uh, it's been one of them days. But again, this frame sells for 187 The extra active gray adds 129 The mirror is 69 for a total of 386 98 tax-free. Thanks again for your purchase, Officer Chauncey. And thanks again for watching. And now hopefully everyone else has seen how I bring God's loving feeling back to glasses. Thank you.